Welcome to the Minecraft MC My Admin Control Panel tutorial provided by MinecraftDedicatedServers.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the MC My Admin Control Panel and how easy it is to control your Minecraft server using this control panel. First, let's log in. When you log in, you're going to see a status screen that's going to tell you about your server. Here we can see the server is online. We can see how long the server has been online. We can see the last time it was updated and the server time. We can also see how many players are online and what percentage of system resources we're using that we've been assigned. Here I can do a couple additional commands. I can start the server, stop the server, kill the server, and restart the server. Let's go ahead and go to users and groups. Users and groups allows you to control who can take care command of your server. You have administrators, everyone, moderators, and regular. You can set what permissions these people have, as we can see here. So, for example, I have the option to kick here. And if I wanted to give everyone kick, I would just go in here, type in kick, hit plus, and now everyone has the ability to kick. I can also take that back out. I can also go in and assign people as administrators, everyone, moderators are regular. So for example, I could add a user. Now that user is part of administrators. We also have a schedule here. The schedule allows you to see what's going on in the world. So every 15 minutes we're saving the world state. Once per day we're going to restart the server. This is just kind of a maintenance thing. You can see here that it's going to send us status messages informing us that the server is about to restart and then it's going to restart and rotate the log file. We have a backup section. This allows us to create backups. We can create a new backup. Hit create backup. And immediately my backup is available here. I can either download that backup, restore it, or delete it from the server. Let's go ahead and delete. Okay, finally we have the configuration section. Here's where I can set all my Minecraft settings. So I have my game settings, for example, I could change it from survival to creative or adventure. I can set the difficulty level, whether I'm in hardcore mode, monsters are enabled, and so forth. I can also go into server settings, I can reseed my world, change my server name, I can choose the server type, whether I want official or craft bucket. I can choose whether to use Craft Bucket Recommended or Beta. I can change the maximum number of players that I'm allowed to have. I can have structures, world type, view distance, allow snooping, and restart on server errors. We recommend you keep restart on server errors available. You also have features, some basic settings here, and plugins where you can enable different plugins. And finally, you have some preferences to your My MC My Admin where you can change the color pattern. For example, we can go with the darker blue, or maybe we like the black and gray. Or we can even set up a custom color pattern. We can select our theme, disable transitions, show timestamps, and so forth. Finally, you have the About Us screen. Here you can check see what version you're running, and if you want to update your Minecraft server or MC My Admin, you can click on the Updates tab and select these options. If you have any questions with this, please let us know. Our support staff is always here to answer your questions and help you get started with MC My Admin. Thank you.